Hi there, and welcome to today's Quentin Carpenter Nature of Flowers Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make one of these really cool, surreal, head in hands, um, face coming through your fingers look that are very popular at the moment. Um, you can see there is the eyes and the mouth and the nose, but there's also hands. And it's all blurred, merged together to create this really sort of weird, surreal effect. So to do this, we're going to need a photograph of us with our hands. And we're also going to need a photograph of just our face. So if we go File, Place, Embedded, we find the picture of the face. Click Place. And when you take the photo, try and get them as close to each other as you can. If I make the opacity 50%, you can see I've got a tiny bit of movement to make. So if I just nudge it around so the head all lines up, like so, that's perfect. Press enter once I finish moving it and make sure that I rasterize the layer that I'm working on. Now, what we need to do is make the layer back to being 100% not see through. Change the layer mode to multiply and you'll see we've got this effect going on already. Then to get the hands to come into the image, we need to do a layer mask. So we click on the layer mask. We make sure we've got the black and the paintbrush and we've got it set to a reasonable size and then we paint in all over the image except for where the eyes are so that we create the effect we're after so we leave everything in place like so and you can see immediately we've got the effect that we're looking for now to make it more sophisticated and more so really almost we need to then just change our colors so we go on the background layer we go image adjustments black and white we make it black and white we go into the top one we go image adjustments black and white again so we've now got black and white image we can see we need to experiment with a bit with the brightness and contrast so we'll do our levels first we go to image adjustment levels and we'll make sure the black line is moved to the graph here. And we'll bring the white line in a little bit as well. And we'll with the grey. Let's get it where we want it. Click OK. Do the same on the background. Go image adjustments and levels. Bring the black line in. Bring the white over a bit. And experiment with the greys until we get it how we like it. And that is basically what you do. Now, if you don't like where the chin is, etc., you can go back to your layer mask, click on it over here in the layer mask menu, select the white, and then you could add more chin into the image. Around there, and you can see that the chin is now resting in the hands. And if you go too far, like I just did there, you go back to the black and just fade that bit back in. So you're in complete control of your blending. You might also want the eyes to be a little bit brighter. So you go image adjustment. And you can go to brights and contrast. And give it a little bit more contrast, a little bit brighter. Just to get it exactly how you want it. There you go. And I'll just notice there's a little bit down here I'm not happy with. So we go back to the black. And we'll just pass that little bit back in. Perfect. There you are. There's a surreal head in your hands looking out through your fingers. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed that edit and um, have fun experimenting with different hand postures, different face expressions to create a whole range of different edits like this. Okay, thanks for watching and goodbye.